But I understand in 2005 you were with him and actually took him to a hospital at one point, correct? Yes, that's right. That, that was the, the last week of the trial. And when uh, I got a call from Joe and a message from his mother that uh, I needed to come out and just take a look at him because they was worried about his, his demeanor. When I get there, uh, I go to the trial. From there, we go back to Netherland. And he asked me to come upstairs, and he grabbed me and, and started crying. said, please don't leave me. They, they, they're trying to kill me. And I said, when's the last time you ate? He said, no, they're poisoning me. I said, well, when's the last time you drank water? And, and so one thing led to another. So I have a friend of mine that has this huge machine in, in L.A., uh, Global Cardia Care. It's, I said, if you can bring this machine down, Michael's agreed to get on it. And they, they, they clamp you and they squeeze you and it'll print out everything in your body. And the only thing that it printed out was he was extremely dehydrated. Nothing wrong with his heart, nothing wrong with his lungs. And so the next day after we left court, I said, I need to take you to a hospital. He said, no, no, they'll kill me. And we went to the hospital and they examined him. And at 5.30, or a little bit before 6, they start intravenously putting liquid in him. At 6 o'clock the next morning, they were still putting water in him. And the doctor said to me, had he waited 12 more hours, he would have been dead. When Martin Lawrence was in that chair, we talked about Blue Streak. I love that. Too. He played a role in your life, I believe. How do you feel about him as a person, as an artist? Martin Lawrence is the guy that showed everybody you can make it from D.C. to Hollywood. I had a personal stake in his success. Every time he did something, it made me feel inspired and really good. And he was always real nice to me. He'd sit me down, what's going on with you, baby boy? What, what? We'd talk about comedy, whatever. And, uh, you know, when we did Blue Streak, we were promoting it, you know, and Martin had a stroke. He almost died. And then after that, I saw him, and I was like, oh, my God, Martin, are you okay? And he said, I got the best sleep I ever got in my life. That's how tough he is. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take her clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy. They're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick.